This is the brand new Rode Wireless Pro Set. And simply put, these are the best microphones that I have ever used. And just so you can get an idea for the audio quality, this entire video was filmed using these Rode Wireless Pro microphones. As you can see, I'm linked into the lab right here. Now, there are already a ton of videos out there on the internet breaking down the pro capabilities of these incredible microphones, such as time code and all the other professional settings that are built right into the receiver and to the microphone that would be super valuable on a professional set. But in this video, I wanna break down is the Rode Wireless Pro microphone system something a content creator should consider? Is this something that you should get if you're just planning on making YouTube videos or if you're just making videos Videos for TikTok or Instagram, or is it overkill and you're better off getting something cheaper like the Rode Wireless ME or even a cheaper shotgun mic from Amazon. So first up, let's quickly go over everything that you get in the box. You get these two identical cases. One of them has the triple microphone system in it and the other one has all the accessories. The main case houses the two microphones and the receiver units and they all connect via USB-C and the entire case also has a USB-C port which allows you to charge everything at once and more conveniently plug everything into your computer at once if you want to fiddle around with the settings on the microphones. With this case, you get over 20 hours of battery life, which is just absolutely incredible. You almost never have to charge this thing, especially if you're just using it to make YouTube videos, but the case is able to charge the microphones and the receivers twice over before it itself needs to be recharged. And it's honestly one of the most premium cases for any products that I've ever owned. I've never owned a leather feeling case that has technology and ports built into it, which I thought was a really cool touch by Rode. Next up, we have the accessories case. This has some connection wires, two lav mics, which can be plugged directly into the microphone unit in case you don't like how it looks or you want it to be hidden, like I'm doing for this video, windscreens and labels for the lav mics, more windscreens for the actual mic units, which you can just attach and lock in by rotating them in, the main male to male 3.5 millimeter cable, a cleaning cloth and two magnetic mounts that you can attach onto the mic units so that you can magnetize them onto your shirt. Okay, so that's everything you get in the box and within the two cases and stuff. So let's talk about the use cases for content creators and how the Rode Wireless Pro system really sets itself apart from a typical shotgun mic. So let's talk about the main reason why you would get this over any other wireless microphone. And that reason is just simply it has built in internal 32-bit float audio, which I think is just incredible for a microphone of this size and this price point. Now, you might be wondering what the heck is 32-bit float audio, and I'll be honest, until I got this microphone, I didn't really care. I was recording everything in 24-bit audio, but 32-bit audio is really a game changer. You can think of it as the video equivalent of filming your videos in log or in raw. So for example, we're filming this video right now on a Canon R5 in C-Log3. So when I take it to my post editing software, I'm able to have a lot more flexibility with the colors, the highlights and the shadows, and I can just push them in all different types of directions. If I try to do that same thing with non-log or non-raw video, the footage would fall apart pretty quickly. Similarly, 32-bit audio is kind of like having raw video. You're able to make a lot more changes and you have a lot more flexibility in post. Essentially, it's impossible to clip 32-bit audio. You're able to essentially really have a lot of flexibility in post when messing around with your gain level. So you're able to raise your gain for really, really low sounds without introducing any noise and you're able to lower your gain for clipped potential audio and you'll still maintain all of that detail. So the way this works on the Rode Pro is that you simply press this button on the top of your microphone and it starts recording the 32-bit float audio internally. Once you're done, you just simply stop recording and then you can plug this into your computer via USB-C directly or you can put it into the case like we discussed before and plug the whole case into your computer via USB-C. Now your computer will recognize the Rode Wireless Pro as its own device, similarly like it would to like a USB or a storage device. From there, you're able to go in and you're able to extract the exact audio file that you need. If you wanna take a different approach, you're also able to open up the Rode Central app and click on the specific microphone and it's gonna have all the recordings in there. You're now able to export these recordings with custom settings so if you specifically only want 32-bit float audio you can set that or you can also have additional presets like 24-bit audio 
which basically levels out all the 32-bit flow audio for you automatically and gives you a nice ready-to-use file. As a content creator, having the flexibility of only taking basically the microphone, which is all you need because it has internal 32-bit flow audio, so you don't even need the receiver if you're not trying to sync up the audio in camera for whatever video you're making. All you need is this and having that flexibility to have basically bulletproof, perfect audio every single time is just unmasked for me. Now, I generally leave the settings for the internal recording on automatic. I feel like the gain mode on Rode is just perfect. It never clips. It's never too low. It's just always right. And especially because it's 32 bit float audio, it's like raw video. So I'm able to make adjustments later in post. But speaking of settings, let's just say you're super, super lazy and you don't want to film internally and you just want the receiver on and you're not interested in syncing any sort of audio. Well, that process is also really simple. All you have to do is attach the receiver to your camera of choice via the mail to mail cable turn on your microphone and make sure that it's linked to the receiver and you'll know that it's linked via this blue light and then all you do is just speak into the microphone while the camera is recording and literally once you have your video exported the audio will be built right in however there's a awesome little trick that Rode has included to make sure that you get your gain levels perfect every single time all you have to do is head into the road central app and then select your gain level to manual at this point you're actually able to select the exact camera that you want in your receiver settings so for example if i pick the can r5 for my receiver settings it actually brings up this pdf guide letting me know the exact steps that i need to take on my r5 to make sure that the settings are perfectly set so this microphone gives me the highest level of audio quality possible which i I think is an amazing touch and I recommend that everyone everyone sets up their microphone appropriately based on their camera if you're going to use the receiver method. You're also able to make more professional studio grade microphones like the Rode NTG wireless using the Rode wireless pro system just using a simple male to male cable. Now, most content creators are not going to use time code, so we're going to skip that in this video, but we are going to talk about price. So cost wise, the Rode Wireless Pro costs almost $500 in Canada, whereas the Rode Wireless ME will run you about $200. But I will urge every single content creator, if they have the budget, they should definitely spring for the Pro. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Right off the bat with the wireless ME, you're only getting the one receiver and the one microphone. Whereas with the Pro set, you're getting two microphones and one receiver like we've already seen. You're also getting every accessory that you could ever ask for, meaning the wireless Pro set really future proofs you and gives you everything you need off the bat and you likely will not have to go out and purchase anything additionally. And finally, the most important thing, as we spoke about earlier, the Rode Wireless ME records in 24-bit audio, whereas the Rode Wireless Pro records in 32-bit audio. So if you mess up on this microphone, the audio is most likely unsavable and you can't do anything, whereas this gives you a bulletproof option and no matter what you know that your audio is going to be safe however i will say that rode has really been perfecting their gain assist mode and the wireless me has that built in so i've been using the wireless me a ton before i got the pro and i found that the auto dynamic gain assist mode does an excellent job of making sure that in most situations you don't clip and you don't have any fuzziness so if you really can't afford afford the rode wireless pro then the rode wireless me is still an excellent option and it'll definitely still get the job done just something to keep in mind is that this does not come with the lav mics and each lav mic in canada costs about a hundred canadian dollars so if you're going to purchase that anyways it really does help bridge that price gap between these two products significantly finally what about the shotgun mics in comparison to this wireless pro set now while i think shotgun mics are excellent for talking head videos like this where you're all set up or if you're going to be vlogging they are excellent in those scenarios but as soon as you need to step away from the camera your audio levels start changing because proximity to these microphones really matters whereas the wireless me is or the wireless pro actually is always clipped into you so no matter where you move your audio levels are going to be consistent so if you really care about having that consistent audio level i would say go for the pro set but if you're only doing talking head videos like this or if you know that you're only going to be vlogging 
basically from this distance and you never have any reason to have wireless audio and be able to record yourself for large distances and have clear audio, then I think the shotgun mic is still a viable option. Now, there are many products that we talk about and we review and we tell you the pros and cons. And then once we're done with the video, we generally just put them away and we never use them. But the Rode Wireless Pro is truly a revolutionary product and something that I'm going to continue to use for all of my videos moving forward. Literally, this is going to become my new go to mic. So if you're looking for a recommendation, whether you should buy this or not, if you're a content creator, just trust me and buy this mic. Just use my link if you don't mind. That's it for this video, though. I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, keep creating.